Diagonal jumping always makes you got a plaza in a first person shooter, son. There he is! There he is! I'm so close! Upgrades back, baby! It's time for the final level, Sam. So which god are we killing now? Is it the death? Yeah, the death god. It's time for the worst level of all of them. What, worse than trying to do the casino level with the armor? Yep. Oh, what shall I take with me this time? Self suit. Oh, the armor. It doesn't matter because it's going to steal all of my upgrades the seconds we get into the level. How do you know this without, I know, look up spoilers? Because I watched a video on it, Sam, that's why we're playing this game. Oh, as a successful member of society of a stable, unflinching psyche and limitless drive, natural affinity for violence and domination, you've been selected. No, you've been effortlessly guided by divine biological trauma towards this moment. The gates of destiny fling open and once again you're left standing on pulsating nothingness, a strobing headache of the soul. I need scissors, 61. Locate the Cradle of Life. Whoa! What the fuck? You do mind the mic now? It only got really loud. No. I had nothing to change my side, it's just all of a sudden. Probably just because I started shouting. Are you Billy Mays now? Yeah. So we oh have God. no... Wait, no... fate is death? <laughs> so Billy Mays was an actor the whole time? Yes. They changed his name to Phil Swift. It's all connected. Aha. Uh -huh. So take the secret library passage. This level is absolute hell because it takes all your upgrades the second you're at the level. Then why enter with any? Because there's an NPC that we can kill to get them back. But yeah, it's cool. What's, like... What's the game with like a side scroller that's apparently as difficult as Dark Souls? I want to be the guy. You play as some kind of insect? Ooh. Um, yeah, on Switch, I think. Oh, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. Yeah, the Dark, the Dark Souls one. Yeah, apparently when you die, you lose basically everything, so you have to defeat a Shadow Clone yourself to get everything back. Yeah, no, it's literally just 2D Dark Souls. Hmm. One down. Yeah, we're basically made of fucking paper for the first half of this level, though. But you're still dead going to this. Wait, how hell is it to be if, like the death is treated an upgrade, so he takes the death from you? Oh god. This is some homestuck level shit. That would be annoying. We can take nothing of I'm kind of annoyed so that they're giving you something. Bullet managed to clip it in the pillar like that. Good, good. Whoa, what the hell? How many times does that rock must do back to? Right, let's crouch into the zombies. And find an exit. At least there'll be a look at a load of uh, Mass Effect lore content. There's one about uh, Mass Effect 3, where to save the Chlorians and the Geth. Remember, the first time I played it, I think I mentioned it without a guide. So because well, I'm a completionist like that. Mm -hmm. I have special eyes. <laughs> I think that's perfect too. Uh, oh, but yeah, God. basically, so you need to do both the Lord missions, not use Fuck. the evidence in, in Tardy's trial, and everything else is pretty self explanatory. You just need to pass Rag on Jet or Renegade. But I remember I was re watching a Fact Bean video, they're talking about Mass Effect, and 
the reporter who appears in all three games in the first one because uh, I looked at the scene in the new Legend edition and the top comments basically even if you're doing a Paragon playthrough you have to punch the reporter in that like one it's just uh, you're obligated my favourite part of Saints Row 4 well the funniest thing is I think the first game does it best uh, because you I think you I you punch I'm, I'm I sure you've talked about punch. this before we talked down to the reporter but that's in the third game. Then the first one, if you just punch her, there's like a second where you see her like fall over and just there's a clunk as she hits the floor. Fucking hell. That's why the first one, the game's the best one. Oh look, there's the daft god. It's pulsating an orange sun. Then the... Looks like just a portal to hell. Yep. As we established, what do you do when you see a portal to hell? Piss into it. Yes. That's what Henry Townsend apparently did, right? Yep. And put some silly string in it for good measure. Right, down, down the skull hole. No, so did you die last time you tried this? I didn't wall jump last time. So have you got your upgrades back? No. This is special NPC that we have to kill to get the upgrades back. I thought you just killed him, the sniper. No, no, that was just a random NPC. There's like a special one hidden at the bottom of this dungeon. So much of the speedrun technique is, yeah, I'm gonna beat uh, the God of Death with no upgrade. Oh, fuck, they one-shot me. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, optimal strategy is just run straight to the boss. Because from the few Dark Souls uh, things I've seen is either you go in with no armor and you just glass cannon the whole way, or with... Dark Souls 2, I think. You get to the first village, kill the blacksmith, take his arm, and use the rest of the run. Now, you basically have to go in with no weapons for the last part of this level, because it's the only way to have enough speeds to avoid the enemies. Like, this level's called Trauma Loop for a reason, Sam. We're going to be going back for that Divine Light a lot. And we're doing the easy way in. There's a harder way? Yeah, I can't be fucked to do the harder way in. What the fuck's the harder way? Uh, there's an enemy that one-shots you from across the map if you don't have upgrades. But all the upgrades are taken. No, but I can get them back. And then, like, come in and do another playthrough as a challenge run. Because remember, people do challenge runs of this shit. Well, of course, challenge runs are dark world because, you know, it just isn't hard enough. Uh, people doing no-hit runs. Fork only. Oh, Skyrim, yeah. Fork only Skyrim, I haven't tried it. Is more difficult than fist only. Nah, fork, fork only. Fork only Dark Souls. Yeah, because if you pick the right setup, the fist can do a lot more damage than a fork. I told you I did on PS4, fist only one. My only rule was I can only do damage with my fist, so any magic or shouts that didn't do damage were A-OK. -okay. Come on, son of fault, son of fault, no. Fuck! And again, why is it that the entrance to one of the underworlds is just in the headquarters library. There's something, the... something, something, capitalism bad. Make up your own moral to the story, some. <laughs> oh. So what came first? The headquarters were set up in the slang because they knew it had portals to various afterlife. No, I imagine hell just bought cheap real estate. What? Well, uh, episode location, location, location. When demons want to, like, put a secret entrance to hell, so it's always good to have a back door in case you lose a key to your front door. So, just location, there's just these demons, uh, not very well disguised as humans. So. Now we have a uh, human man. The, ca the, ca the camera just pans over and it's Crowley talking to a real estate agent. Oh, of course they'd use a front man. Uh, so, so, what do you do? Oh, I work in uh, finance. Finance, uh, yeah. Um, I'm, at, I'm, at the other making... one, I'm at the other one, but fuck it, let's have both of them in this hypothetical. Oh yes, I'm used to making oh, deals every day. Very hard customers. Oh. Get over the wall, get over the wall, fuck, fuck. No. Oh. Good. Thank fuck there's a ladder. Right, sorry, you were saying Crowley's doing real estate. No, I was saying this is how he says it because if it's location, 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 
he's looking for a house like build under. He doesn't want it to be somewhere like flashy. He wants it to be like an ordinary house because that's the best disguise. Uh, as compared to one. So, with the real estate guy, I said, so what do you do for a living? Oh, um, I work in finance. I make deals for a living. I was like, oh, okay. You got lots of, you know, people from Wall Street here. I hate those people on Wall Street. They have no integrity. Right. Moving on. Isn't that literally how he makes the most your way in, um... Good omens, though? Hang on, fuck, there's a goal. Oh, shit. No, no, he makes it, um, in Good Omens. In the symbol of, like, well... To match an ancient symbol of anger. So any, everyone on the M5 sort of gets more angry the more time they spend on it. No, no, but he's the one who, like... Puts the money in for it. God fucking damn it. Two hours later. This floor makes me uncomfortable because it looks like Sans Undertale. See, it looks like the moon from, uh, is it... Was that Majora's Mask that had the moon that was going to crash into the earth? Yeah, yeah, that was Majora's Mask. Like, I, I know where I get the upgrades from. The problem is, like, the NPCs in that last room where I have to chuck my weapons away and run. Uh, I, I have a favourite. There's a video of the ultimate stealth archer. Where you just max out time stuff and just spam arrows to kill everything. Hmm. Excellent, eh? What's John saying about Psychonauts? I started playing that a few days ago. Oh, good fist only Psychonauts. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is one of the bosses because I've beaten the firing range. I'm trying to beat that boss this journey. You can't because by the time you get in range, you'll just whack you with his stamp. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. Acquired taste? <laughs> yeah, right. And the voice actor for Raz sounds a lot like Billy from Billy and Mandy. That's because it's the same voice actor? I thought so. What's yeah, the Steve name? Richard Stephen Horvitz gets around a lot. Is the name Rasputin? Hmm. Yeah, mostly we just remember him for being the voice of Zim. I know. Anything else I can chuck? No, good. I don't understand why I can't get enough speed. Moxie. Oh, you voice Mad Moxie? No, Have no, he's um, Moxie in um, Hasbin Hotel. Oh, well, I haven't watched that. Wait, Hasbin Hotel. Or like a boss. Like a boss? Hell of a boss, even? Uh, yeah. Fuck, diagonal, diagonal. Come on, baby! You're getting the half by two strategy, just bunny hopping. Diagonal jumping always makes you got a plaz in a first person shooter or something. There he is! There he is, the fucker! I'm so close! Upgrades back, baby! The fucking limit chancellor's death. Let's see if we can get out of here before these worms kill me. Wait, just one tap and you killed the god of oh, death? Oh shit, here comes the pigs. No, that's the god of death. We killed the limit chancellor. Oh fuck, golems. It's the home fucking stretch, Sam. So, if only real life, what it's like, what, go <gasps> down a secret uh, room in the library to go kill the god of death? Fucking dead. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and my rewards are fucking ass at trip, Sam. This is actually just what you see when your brain shuts down from too many quaaludes. A point in the horizon, a melting scene from your childhood, your mortality is showing, a frantic drift towards nothing, biology doomed to an infinite recursive loop, Teeth with teeth with teeth, take a bite. Serene scene of a coastal town, warmth of the sun, bitter tears, lust for power. This is where you abandon your dreams. You're a high net worth individual, an expanding vortex of prophetic trauma. Finally, a beautiful fucking nerve ape. A pure soul is born. It's neurotransactions starting to being. 3058 3750 375093. <laughs> fuck, that's a little text. That's the same combination of my logic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the code to Alex Jones's bank account. That's a long pen number. I'm pretty sure this is Alex Jones's bank account ID. The value of life is negative. The balance of being is rotated by 38 degrees. The surface is full of cracks. The turgid light shines through. Fleshy primordial bodies sluggishly roll down the slope. Only you slide upwards of a celestial slab. 
You have a confusion fight, a saintly figure, your pristine idiocy reveals a safe path for the impenetrable fuck of life. Your dull sword cuts through weak tendons and membranes of the Garden of Corruption. Sit on the throne of contentment and ferment. Inspect the eternal blue skies of your kingdom. You come to a realization. You pick up an onion and begin peeling. What's he going to do with that onion? Shrek just loves some. Oh god. <laughs> Shrek. The ogre technique. I'm pretty sure that Vladimir Putin had this paint. Onion layer one, onion la layer two, onion layer three, onion layer n over n. Aeons have passed and the onion is fully peeled, nothing remains. It's perfect. You get lost in the point that remains where the onion used to be. Synaptic cascade, neurological catastrophe. The point becomes infinitely dense. The universe condenses into unicellular being. It screams sin, it craves happiness, it's done with this world. It tries to commit suicide but fails. Sad pathetic mess. You'll feel pissy and disgust, but in a way only a being of pure grace can. In your violent mercy, you terminate the world life. John's just like, this hurts my ears. Yes, yes it does. A good thing I have this muted. It's like someone tried to play Mario 64 music on a pipe organ on crack. Well, I'm gonna unmute for a second, gotta hear this. Okay, that was a mistake. Yeah, also you gotta love how they labelled the Daft God. Uh, the screen still, still just got gold and mage on it. So. The living organism in a situation determined by the play of energy on the surface of the globe always receives more energy than is necessary for maintaining life. The excess energy wealth can be used for the growth of a system, e.g. an organism. If the system can no longer grow, if the access cannot be completely absorbed in its growth, it must necessarily be lost without profit. It must be spent willingly or not, gloriously or catastrophically. Is this going to be like the Ultimate Warrior comic? It's just a wall of text where you had to read it. Uh, <laughs> I shall take the Death God's plane and crash it into the mountain, Hulk Hogan. Wait, so did we get the good ending? That was the good... Hang on a second, let me just... Um, Finds this fucking script and then just read, read that in full. Because it talks about you perhaps destroying the world or the universe. Yeah, two, two, two ticks. Hang on a second. I put this to the side because I thought this might happen. Wait, is that you in the car? The burnout plane? No, I think that's just a random target. Well, just oh, the home screen, just some random guy in the car. Wait, you got the body there. Right, so to explain the sanding really fucking simply, because I imagine before, you're lost. Wait, before you do that, uh, yeah. before you do that, if I just put that that wall of text on my CV, would I get the job? The job Hon honestly, if it was digital instead of like a person reading it, you probably would get the job. No, even better. I walk into the interview and say, "So, tell me a bit about yourself." I say, oh, good. And I just read that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd love to see you do that shit. That'd be so goddamn funny. <laughs> yeah, no, the the golden ending of this game is um, he kills death and then becomes death and then destroys the universe to start it again. It's basically off with extra steps. The whole point was to stop you of being immortal. No, no, but the, the entire point is because everyone's immortal, the world's going completely stagnant. Not helped by you killing the life and the balance gods, so he just kills death and remakes the universe from scratch to set the slate back to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Sam reads the entire text Patreon goal. Oh fuck! No, let's make that a fucking goal. If we can, if we reach three hundred dollar, if we reach three hundred dollars on Patreon, I'll have Sam go around Tesco reading that to people. No, what? Just then interview. Is like, why do you have a camera? Uh, it's, it'll take too long to explain. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I follow no. you around. I follow you around Tasco, and y you have to deliver that entire speech while the woman nervously packs your box. Oh, so I'm actually buying something. So I'm not going to get kicked out. <laughs> like, by like that one shopping we, center. We we buy we buy enough shopping that she has to scan for at least two minutes. So like I don't know, thirty bags of fruit gums or something, and then like <laughs> while. While she's trying to rapidly scan the bags, you just delivered the entire speech to her. 
<laughs> so like a peep show sketch. Yes. I don't actually watch that. Is that the uh, one who's like, I'm just a sane, rational human being and no one else can convince me otherwise? Or, um, yes. Uh, think, uh, you promised that you read the speech. Hitler promised not to evade Czechoslovakia. Jeremy, people lie. Oh, good. Good successful stream. We'll see you next time. <laughs>